here. Welcome to another episode of Kicking It with the Brothers. I'm uh, your host, ML. I'm with your co host, my boy, Dion Hill Ford, my man, X, my man who still believes because a little bit, we're like 20% believe. We ain't all the way there, but a little belief, a little bit, a little tiny bit. 20 is a little high. 20 is a little yeah, high. Yeah, it's probably close to 15. I was trying to be nice. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> it's close to me. But wait, I'm not the- I got more belief than y'all. I just realized they play. They would play five games in the next ten days. Yeah, yeah. If we hold it true, so they're either gonna drop points or lose to Madrid. Like, there's. I don't think. I don't think they do both. I will say. I think. I think there's a small chance that they lose. That they drop points to Everton because Everton oh, yeah. is motivated. You know what I'm saying? Got to stay up. A lot of money. You, they play Saturday, then they got Madrid on Tuesday. So it's like That's you it. either play everybody. And win the points, and then probably lose to Madrid if you do all that, right? And then like, or you don't, and then you might drop points to Everton. Young Lewis may be out on there, so we're gonna see. Uh, so our man is boots on the ground. He is there holding it down in España. Charles, Senor Sangria, talk to us, man. Is it over La Liga? Another another trophy on Sunday coming to the board. Wrapping up on Sunday. Uh, I'll be in the building. Uh, I need all of the Busquets I can get in my life right now. I got to go to the team store, grab me a jersey before the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dion, Dion got them pictures I sent from the team store. Yeah, I was sick. I wasn't awake. I was sick. I was sick. <laughs> that, that jacket was Charles yeah. to the early. That was like a, I was like seven thirty, and yeah. I'm like, Dion definitely ain't awake now. But that shit was fire. It's a couple doors down from the Madrid store. I just kind of yeah. I, I think about going in there for you, but I'm like, I, I ain't that good of friends. We'll get, that's <laughs> friendship wild. <laughs> 17 years of friendship. This is crazy. I've seen you <laughs> that the we go, put our stuff I wouldn't I wouldn't ask you to do that for me. I just wouldn't. There's some things that we some lines that just don't <laughs> phenomenal. But anyways, give us the Barca Boy report, man. What's the vibes there? Is is there anticipation? Is it or is it just like, damn, y'all went from a high of like, yo, we're about to get the second trophy of the year. Chavi's on his way. We're grown. We're building. Uh, we know who we're going to sell. But then, like, yo, club legends are literally bouncing, man. What's up? Yeah, man. I mean, had, uh, like, 12 days since the last game, so in between games. So uh, it's been a, a little bit of a lull, but never never boring on uh, on Barca transfer uh, rumors or who's going where and shit like that. And then we had Boozy leave yesterday. So um a little somber feeling been seeing some things in the papers and stuff around uh today and stuff so um it's a little weird but glad glad i'm gonna be here to uh see the the end of him uh end of his career and uh, uh obviously uh, us lift this trophy at one point or another in the next week you know, uh hopefully on sunday if not on sunday the week after so um still still good vibes uh i I'm, I'm looking i'm just now i'm looking forward to next season when i when i come back with uh with, with my light skinned brothers we'll see if we can make some shit pop uh, get X on this sangria. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something serious. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, do, 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 does that team store like ship stuff to you? That's the only reason I come like because they don't ship like Barca doesn't ship to the U.S. That's the only mm-hmm. reason I like was like this whole time I was like I'm gonna get an extra uh, probably come with an extra bag when I yeah. come back. No, I'm glad you said that. I got. I'm gonna buy my extra bag right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bring, I'm bringing the black card to that store because them jackets are crazy. Dude, it's three floors. Yeah, I'll be. I might, I might live there. I, <laughs> Three floors. My Airbnb. That's it. Yeah. Did you? Uh, <laughs> what did you think of Sergio Dest's thank you to uh, Boosie? I know that's your favorite. Player. Um, I mean, I see, I see he's been posting videos from uh from Barcelona. I'm just trying. I'm trying to figure out why he's still here. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> no one else. Because <laughs> <laughs> they can't find anyone to take his loan. <laughs> like I don't know why he's here, bro. Like that further yeah, case that. What are you going to do? Go to America? Than that MLS dude we signed. Like, there's no way. He has to be because why did they sign him? Yeah, I don't know. That's my question. <laughs> like, I, I mean, as, I'm not going to pretend I've seen either play. <laughs> I it, just don't. I'm, I'm just saying, saying, like, what is what is Sergio going to do? Come home to America? He you know, should. y'all know, y'all know that man ain't got no permanent residence here. Uh, that's a, that's a lot of them American players' problems. I don't know if we're going to do our U.S. men's national team update, but uh, y'all seen what I put in the group chat? <laughs> y'all see? Listen. They either don't play or they get relegated. <laughs> There's no in between. <laughs> well, that's the good. Hey, 
Big Sam going to have to pull something out. So our boy Wes is going to be in the Premier League next year. No doubt about it. Uh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I want them to get relegated. We need – because Weston – I read in Weston's contract, if they get relegated, he can free transfer. So we need that. Oh. Yeah, we need that. Oh, yeah, down with Leeds. Let's go. <laughs> and he's only on a loan. So I think if they get relegated, Juve like, has to take him back. So mm-hmm. it would be like, go back to Juve, then he could free transfer. Well, he could so free like, transfer we him need him to get relegated. I'd like that for that. Shoot. It. But, <laughs> other buddy, Mr. Captain. <laughs> Tyler Enjoy Adams. the championship league, brother. <laughs> Enjoy the championship league. Oh, boy. Yeah, playing Ipswich in Bristol ain't going to be fun. He's <laughs> Aronson? No, uh, Tyler Adams. Oh, Aronson, too. They both stink for what it's worth. I mean, we could go down the list. It's more that stink than don't. <laughs> Charles, what's going – will you be able to see the women play? Um, you can say no comment. You no, they don't have no. they don't have another home game. Um, and, oh yeah, because they're, they're in the final now. So yeah, but uh, uh, I might I, I still depending on my schedule, I might go to to the uh, the women's Champions League final. I'm, I'm up in the air. Where's Where that in your calendar? Uh, Ein, Einhoven. Where is that? <laughs> so I said I might go. To I, I, I think it's in I think it's in the Netherlands. Okay. Is that where the, the men's final is too? No, it's in um Istanbul, Turkey. It was caught. I, I watched that. I watched that game. It looked like Madrid said, "I'd rather be in Brazil than wherever this final is." I want. I want nothing to do with that. Man, X, what that's you what it looked like to me. X, let's throw it to you. What do you think about Madrid and City? Um, I was surprised how they went after City early. Um, but I think they had a good game plan. Honestly, they look evenly matched. You know what I'm saying? They look city, city. I don't. City is an unbeatable, and I think Madrid has the type of players that can actually give them a run for their money. But I was entertained. It was a good game. I'm looking forward to the second leg. See what city had, what counter cities um, Pep's going to come up with to try and attack that uh, mid block. What would you just? What would you do here, Dion? You got to release Alvarez, right? You got. I think. I think city. I think city's fine. But I'm telling you, Madrid don't want to play, so it's like. A one-one draw on the road against a team that don't give a shit. I think City stalls them out at home, like four-one, probably. You think so? I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, we can say so whatever what we want on here. Want to play? We can say whatever we want on here, bro. That that first twenty minutes, all the announcers did. Damn, Madrid just doesn't look like they're playing with intent. They they were begging for Madrid to try it, it, the whole first half, and like the Vinny goal was phenomenal. Like sometimes, like. You know, talent beats execution, right? But that's all that happened for Madrid. Talent beat execution. Like, they didn't do shit the whole Or do you think they would just, they didn't want to go down 1-0, right? They were playing conservative, but they didn't want to open themselves up. They didn't want to go down one goal. And it was like, all right, we'll, we'll play conservative. Maybe Vinny can come up with a goal, which he did. You know what I'm saying? And then, but I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, I just don't see Madrid not wanting to play in a fucking semifinal. Like, that doesn't, I don't know. I just feel like they didn't really, like, try. Like, I don't know. I watched them in the Copa final on Sunday, and I know it was a different, like, squad, like, different 11, but, like, there was a different level of intensity that they had on Sunday than they had on Tuesday. It, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just – it's – they won last year, and they already lost the league. So I feel like if you told Madrid, like, they, like, bowed out in the semis, like, I don't think they – care as much as City who like has been fighting for this trouble for years and this is like by far their best chance to get it I think that's very fair on the like once you explain the point of City really really thinks that they can be, become the best English te- best team in the country's history especially if they get this treble because this treble would be very hard uh, to do um, well it wouldn't be that hard <laughs> it wouldn't be that hard oh. I mean they're gonna have less points than Liverpool had last year. So I mean, <laughs> I think last year was a historic year because those dudes were going for the quad too, though. Like they lost the quad on like literally the last week of the year. They could have. Listen, you can't you can't say it's very hard when you know they would have finished third last year. It's just hard. Yeah, well, well, depending. Right. But also, found a little stat for all the Holan fans out there. Uh-oh. Uh oh. So City's just gonna score less goals this year than they did last year. I thought they got the goal scorer now. 
It's my, it's my bad. I thought they got the cool score. Yeah, they got a lot of games left. You don't think they'll catch it? They got four. <laughs> they got four. They right. got, if they're gonna chunk up eleven goals in four games, more power to you. Probably not. I thought they got the goal score. I didn't know. Hey, listen. Uh, speaking of which, uh, KDB. So this is I explained this the other uh, somebody yesterday. Kamavinga actually did very, very well. Um, no, he didn't. Think, oh, yeah. He had Bernardo no, Silva he in hell. But his he had he, he took, also gave up the only goal. And that's where I'm going with. And it's, it comes down to <laughs> 2021. That's what I'm getting to. His his mentality as a midfielder, because that's what he is, like, it's okay if you turn the ball over, like, as a midfielder sometimes. That shit happens. Bro, you can't do that from that spot as, the, as a defender. And that's the thing of, like, his in terms of understanding – and you know, just part of that is experience. But he had he had Bernardo in, in hell. Mara has got to start, don't you think, Charles? I think we talked about this a little bit. Uh, I mean, that was the, the first first thing I noted when the game got going. If uh, especially because Vinicius is going to track back, like ice ISO that man on that wing and let like Bernardo is a great player, but he's not going to attack him the way that Mars is is going to get at him. Yeah, um, in a way that 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 Silva won't. And I just think that the a lot of Jack Grealish is essentially a midfielder. Like, he don't really play in the attacking third. Like, he's only, like, mid, like, like touch line. I mean, touch line, midfield, and, and back. Like, he's not really in, like, attack. He's more, like, playing as a fourth midfielder, uh, that left side of midfielder than anything else. They need Mares to add width. Um, it's, he, they're so narrow. They were so narrow through the middle, obviously sitting in that block, but they were so narrow um, to contain Holan. They, they got to add some width. Um, I think I think Mares, like, if they, I think if they start Mares, They'll get this done uh, pretty easily, um, and I just like I, I and I think you know like for years like I've been kind of sleep like I Mar to me Mars is like one of the most underrated players in the world. So uh, yeah. I, my 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 Mars stock is like super super high. So I think you know the man went out there and uh, got his hat trick in the in, in the in the semifinals of the uh, the cup, and uh, I think I don't think I've seen him since. Yeah, that's wild. It's crazy how Pat be Pat be doing them. Uh, could I? What is a failure for Sid? What if they don't win? Anything short of the treble. Yeah. Is that where we're at? Like anything short of treble, it's a failure. You, so you spent an ungodly amount on Holland, an amount that's probably going to get you like some form of punishment from the FA, right? Like, I mean, I'd say that's pretty realistic to the point where like you're probably not going to win the Prem next year unless you just. I, I, I mean, if they get a 20-point deduction and still win the Prem, like, good for them. You know what I mean? Like, but that'd be insane to me. Um, you have to assume – you have to assume Liverpool is going to be back. You have to assume Arsenal can do the same thing. And, I mean, I'd say it's a safe bet that Manchester United signs a shitload of dudes, and especially with if the sale goes through prior to June or July. Um, so that feels like it'd be tough. So this is really your last chance at it because you brought this guy in and – now you can't afford to do anything else. So it's like, especially if you, I mean, you see it with Barca, bro, that financial fair play, a bitch. Mm -hmm. And I don't see too many fucking teenagers that they're bringing up. You know what I mean? Like the way Barca is to make it to where you can survive that shit. So I feel like anything, this is their last shot at it. That's why they have to go for it. I'm good with a double. Um, I don't yeah. really think it matters if they lose. Did they, I no, no, I, I it Which matters if they're playing though? United. Which double? If they get, I think if they get, like, they need, if they get the Champions League, I think it makes everything else digestible. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Like, I'm very, like, I would, I'm not going to call the season a failure if they get the thing that they're really chasing. I feel like all these other ones are things that they've kind of stumbled into. Um, if they can win, if they like, if they can win the cup with, like I said, playing Mares and the, like the B, the B team that they're not even their main lineup, like, there's nothing wrong with that. But, um, I still like them getting the prem is just like icing on the cake for me this year because like the, the the way that this year is going to be defined is by Arsenal, and so it's like and then comma dot 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 city won anyway like the whole yeah. like first two paragraphs of like how about this season would be about like Arsenal and how they like and then the last like three sentences is going to be and then city won the championship the top won the title so like to me that shit is not very. Like yeah, it's the the prem season is more about like Arsenal falling off than it is about C mm. City like walking them down. To me, like City City didn't win it this year. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it, 
I, yeah, I they didn't outdo time, Liverpool. Like, the Warriors beat Liverpool. Win the title last year. They were the last team standing. City's yeah. the last team standing. Yeah. So, they beat Liverpool a couple years, like the last couple years. They've been beating Liverpool. Like they they didn't beat Arsenal. Yeah. Like they they I mean they're if you look at every aspect of their season, like like they already have more losses than they had last year. They're gonna give up more goals, they're gonna score less goals. Like this team was not as good. And I mean, they're still good enough to win it, obviously, but like yeah. it took other factors. Versus last year, it was like, ah, oh, we're just gonna fucking beat you at some point. I am holding out like just the two percent chance that uh, Pep fucks up the lineup in the Champions League final, and they lose AC Milan. Uh, just because he just because he decided to put like Alvarez and and, and fucking Till Foden out there or something, and just like it decides to start Cole or something like just some random shit that he hasn't done in a while. Just guys you haven't seen because um, who like we we know in big games he's liable to do that. There's no telling what lineup he's gonna run out next week. So um, I'm still a little nervous for that, but. It's Saturday. I, I think that would be the worst thing they could do. In the, like for the worst outcome of the season could be them losing to losing to like a a, a weaker team in the in the in the final. I if think Saturday's that, they, lineup's gonna be interesting too. Yeah, you know what I mean, like at Everton, you, they realistically like it's good. I mean, they drop points on Saturday. I know they have the game in hand, so it's like not the end of the world. But like, I mean, you can't give. I know Saliba and Zinchenko are after the year, but you can't give Arsenal life. At the same time, right? Like, there's four yeah. games left. If Arsenal wins out, like you drop points, like I don't know, especially yeah, with Madrid on Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, Alvarez and Mars didn't play um, during the week, so like I'm assuming they'll be out there. Yeah, like they should be able to, like should be able to get it done. I don't think like and, and you know Pep's good for taking Holland off at half, but but I I think too like I mean you saw Ake didn't play on Tuesday. But do we know what the hell's wrong with him? Did he just not play? Yeah, he wasn't sure. in the squad at all. Yeah, because that was an interesting thing. Because they said it's not um, um, injury related, right? Yeah, that's, that that kind of threw me off. Because then they were talking about Dennis's calf. There, there are too many disparaging reports. So that'll be interesting to see on Saturday morning. It'll so, be interesting, like with KDB too, because KDB had the same injury Ake had, and KDB played Tuesday. Ake didn't. Ake played Saturday. Whenever they played prior, Friday yeah. or Saturday, but didn't play Tuesday. So like the. The match congestion, like we talked about it like a week or two ago, like are they going to be able to hold up? Mm -hmm. I, I think they're going to be able to win the Prem. I, d I don't know about the Champions League. And like the doomsday scenario is you win the Prem, lose to Madrid. Do not let Manchester United have more trophies than you. Oh, my God. That is a, you're that's, already little brother. X, you like, see that? That's you're already little brother. There's nothing you can do. Like you'll forever be little brother. The only thing you can hang your hat on is the results. Does Pep? So let me ask you this. Is there any scenario? Well, let me say say true or false. I think Pep leaves if he wins the treble, just because it's like there's nothing more I can do. Like I think that he'll leave if he leaves the loses the, uh wins the treble. I actually think that say there's a two percent chance of this, maybe one. If he doesn't win any trophies, does he come back? There's no way they're not winning any, though. Yeah, they're going to win. I don't think there's a scenario in which they don't get one of the two major ones they're chasing. They might One might come at the expense of the other, but... Like, if they lose on Tuesday, they're definitely going to uh, win the Prem. That would be two losses. No, Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, I mean. Yeah, they're going to win think they're Saturday, City, Wednesday this, this week. I don't think Pep's back with City regardless, but... Oh, just, okay. I mean, I think they did it. Like, I, I think they're going to get in trouble for that, like, that fair financial shit. And he, I mean, he, he said what he said the whole time. If I'm lied to, I'm going to, I don't know what the fuck they told him behind closed doors, but I'd assume they lied to him. <laughs> I'm like, but I, I just, for the record, want to say I'm like 6% confident that Lucho's city would actually play better. <laughs> yeah. I think Lucho's a better manager. <laughs> I think they would. I, I, listen, I'm not going to. They're the I same, think, like they're 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 like they both have one like with this, man. They're the same people though. It, like they respectfully, respectfully to Tottenham, like you know, it's Charles and I's club. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't want to disrespect them, but like if you're if your three options are Chelsea, Tottenham, and then like potentially City, you're not turning down Chelsea unless you know that City job's gonna be available. Yeah. Cause, cause you are not 
just going to leave yourself with the only option being Tottenham. I don't care how much you believe in the project. Like, there's just not a world. Yeah, that's a good point. X, what do you, what do you think about Pep? You've seen the boys in, in person. You, you've you told me that he's just a different level. Where is he? Is Pep going to stay? Look, I didn't. I, I wasn't really familiar with Pep, obviously, prior to this year. I'm familiar <laughs> I, I had a. Yeah. said I wasn't familiar with his game. <laughs> I was not familiar with his game. My apologies to Pep, but I mean, yeah, I hope he leaves. I hope you guys are right. You know what I'm saying? But then again, it's like it doesn't matter unless the sanctions going into next year are so just cumbersome. But the gap between City and everybody else is just is just too wide right now. So I don't know. I'm praying on it down for daily. So. I believe in this part of that. Lucho, Lucho having to ride him out for a year of sanctions, and then like that's not a downfall. I feel well, like but... Lucho would be better within the sanctions too. I feel like, yeah. like I feel like, I don't know. Pep to me is like one of those guys where it's like you got to already be good, and you and if you if you have the talent, he's the perfect guy to lift up that talent. But I think Lucho could like he could take a Rico Lewis and you know play him for more than three games and then send him to purgatory. So let's say, let, so here's a question. Let's say Pep leaves, Lucho comes in, there's a bunch of sanctions. Maybe they can't do any transfers. They can't replace a lot of the free agents that are leaving. Who's the favorite for next year? Just for next year. We're not talking about the year after and moving for the next three years. Who would you make the favorites for next year? Considering. Can like Liverpool the betting favorite? Yeah, yeah. Like who, who would you make the odds on favorite? For yeah. Liverpool, the the city better. drop points or no? Let's say that. Whatever the strictest possible outcome is to where they would be extremely because let's be realistic, they're not gonna win it by 20 points. No, right? they're not. So let's say it's a 20 point deduction. Who's the favorites? Um I'd say Liverpool, probably. Yeah. You think Liverpool? Yeah, Liverpool. I do. I, I think Liverpool still with McAllister, yeah. Yeah. Because they're they're gonna but if we get Declan though, I still think we're closer. But well, my thing is like with Arsenal and United and Chelsea. They're hypothetically going to get transfers. Like I know Liverpool is going to get like three midfielders. You know what I mean? That that's where it's like that's why I would give the edge to Liverpool. We could be talking in August where you guys like get Declan, they get McAllister, and like maybe I change my mind. But like the Declan thing feels a lot more hypothetical versus McAllister might as well he might as well already be on Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting and, one of the two though. We're getting Caicedo or Declan. That's for sure. And, and McAllister yeah, well, is better than both of them. Yeah, we and we heard that in McAllister, January. McAllister's so, more impact. We're going to spend more than Liverpool this year. Yeah, I heard that in January. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What you mean? <laughs> we're spending more than though. Liverpool, though. But, and okay, Twitter. so, but here's a question. There's a gap between Arsenal and Liverpool right now. So, even if they do get McAllister, <laughs> even if we get gaps, Declan, who's not as good. Way. The gap's the other way, my It's not, Charles. No, I'm sorry. You need to admit it's not, Charles. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll let the gap that be. be real. We got four points off of them this year. Liverpool yeah. got healthy and damn near, like, and damn near walk is a spot, like, about to be end of the season. One spot below you guys. They have a better attack. They have better attacking players. They have better defenders. They just they suck at midfield. They do. They do. They do. They have they better attacking players. How could you tell me about Trent last week? Look, hold on, hold. Stop. You guys are being disrespectful of the fact that you're going to sit here and say, as this light skin motherfucker is going to sit here and say, they have better attacking players. Most of the better than every single attacking player you have. Probably That's Jackal, a fact. Sure. Every and then we probably have. got second, third, and fourth. Who? Who will be second? Saka. Is not what? better than fucking Cody Yakbo. I, 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 I'm not. What? Like, okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's come not. on, come on, come on, come on. Be heavy. Right. Like, he's hold not a real yeah, when, hold on, when, hold on. When, when Jota's healthy, he's not better than Saga. He's not making more things happen. Like, y'all, like, stop that shit. Let's go to your like, defenders, stop. though. Let's go to the defenders. Forget the attack. Yes. Yes. Midfielders right now, our midfield's better than their midfield. The yeah, but I, yeah, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even arguing that. You run into but, but, but I'm saying McAllister is better than every midfielder you have. So if they get McAllister, I think they're going, like, the name of the game is scoring goals here, guys. Liverpool was going. We know like, Liverpool, got, Liverpool loses them against them this and we all we watched all season. We all know Liverpool loses games in the midfield. So I think Liverpool's like, the favorites because I haven't seen Mikel do it. I've seen Jurgen Klopp win a prem. That's where I think the difference is. But the oh, fit, oh well, listen, we we saw Mikel do it this year. Chill. Come on, dog. <laughs> Come on, Charles. Let's go back to it. Trent, if they Bottom don't job. the midfield. And they still play a bottle job. <laughs> that 
That's the issue. We'll be we'll be straight. Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, and honestly, it depends. It don't matter what was going on in the left back, but those I dudes mean, are all better than. And and I keep it. I'm keeping it in the bean. If it's anything less than twenty points, like if, like if it's fifteen or twelve or ten, you give me ten point deduction to Lucho. I'm going city. Hear this, X. Don't worry. I'm yeah, if it's it. only ten, if it's only ten, I'm on. Oh, I'm on the re- the yeah, reason why. 20. The That's reason why I think the reason right. why I think like City will actually be like if they had Lucho, they would actually get better because I think Lucho would be able to put the best eleven players out there. Yeah, Pep struggles with that with this group. I agree. Um, but let's go back to this year. X, I'm throwing it to you. Last week you told me that uh, Liverpool can catch United. United lost to West Ham uh, uh, over at uh, the London Stadium. Right now, the in terms of the table, uh, and let me just make sure I got all of this right. Newcastle, and you think they're actually getting third, which is I, I don't know where you're going now, Charles. Newcastle's at 65 points, 34 games played, 34 matches played. United's at 63 points with 34 matches played. Liverpool is at 35 points, 62 points. One behind the uh, top four, but United with the game in hand. United has to. So. Now my question is, are they gonna catch United or are they catch a Newcastle? Tottenham, y'all said that they were gonna sleepwalk to the top four. Liverpool's kind of doing that a little bit right now, but they've been what a really mean, good kind of. Yeah, you mean kind of. This is the definition of sleepwalking the top definition. four. This, this is, is quite literally the definition. I want you like, to explain it for the people. Explain it. Well, they were dog shit the whole season and decided to start trying three weeks ago, and now they're in fit. That's literally what happened. Beautiful synopsis right there. I mean, right. I mean, what do you mean we're they're kind of asleep? Like they did not care for seven months and just decided, I guess we want to get top four now. So yeah. here they are. Yeah. Like, that's exactly what happened. They were down in the dumps. Even when they beat United that day, they when they won seven nil, they still were 10 points out of top four, which is crazy. But I think it's also, I think United got tired. I think they're because of their they were still in Europa at the time. Um Liverpool was out early in the champion in the champs but x you have a good handle on things what do you think i'm Little. trying to pull up united's united schedule you want their fixtures i can give them to you yeah yeah so they have wolves uh this saturday they have four wolves, of the- sneaky yeah very sneaky 100 percent um you know you you know how wolves be doing it's gonna be a tough match regardless all right, so United has Wolves at home at Old Trafford Saturday. Uh, Bournemouth, I think they're safe now. Actually, they're not safe. They, they need a result this weekend. Uh, but Bournemouth is uh, host United the next week. Uh, then United, you know who's going to – what did you text me, Charles? Then United the thir- has a Thursday match. They play Chelsea at United. United and Chelsea is the most – is the tie that has the most draws in the out of the top six – top six teams in the prem history united and chelsea uh they're it's crazy their rate on uh draws and then united has fulham at home uh on championship sunday are they dropping points in there fellas who's Is that who are, talking, who are you talking about united man you oh, probably remember probably. when we gave a shit about like Ayrton hogg and like he was like like a really good coach remember like months and months ago when we were saying that shit and we Charles, just remember slowly... when I said they weren't that good? I do remember that. <laughs> you did say that, that. But you also said they I... were going to get top four. And but... I said I said they're going to need about seven players this transfer. They had, they had a hot Marcus Marcus Rashford month, and, and y'all thought they were fucking the, the best team in Europe. Not yeah. I. Not that not dude, I. Rashford. They're not as good as us. And they this is about the seventh season in a row where he plays good for a month, and we think he's somebody. I'm sick of that shit. As, as a former English national team fan, I recently got citizenship within Spain. Um, <laughs> recently, yes! recently got. <laughs> listen, green cards aren't easy to come by. I lost my visa in England. What are you going to do? <laughs> lost my visa. <laughs> but as a former English national team fan, I mean, bro, going to have to put it together eventually. I've seen a, I've seen a tweet that said the, uh, the, the world of football is in good hands because of Rashford, Pedri, Mbappe and Jude. Rashford's twenty eight. <laughs> he my age, basically. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? 
Charles, you like their run in? Dumb shit. Oh yeah, I don't like that shit. Fucking like moron. That. Yeah. Is that Rashford's thing? Yeah, you see and I hate his fucking. Suit. I hate his fucking haircut. Isn't that? He's, what, got, uh, he's got. He's got a weird head shape, dude. He's isn't got that a, what the dude that um the U.S. team doesn't have does too? No, yeah, but they stole it. That's that's they stole it from uh from Rashford though. Oh, so okay. Hold on. <laughs> so what does that mean? Like, headshot? I didn't know the backstory. I I, no. I mean, it's it's. I think it's. I'm smart, but I think it's also like if you're so fucking smart, transfer. Um. So I mean, play the, for the team. The dude we don't have on our, you know, still have my U.S. dual citizenship. So the dude we don't have on our squad stole a celebration from Rashford. That's the guy we're missing. Yeah. Rashford's little brother. Yeah. Come on, man. They're on the bounce. <laughs> Two losses in a row for them. Uh, so United, that's their fixtures. We'll give you guys Liverpool, Mr. Seven Ups. Chelsea's gonna have something to say, by the way. Chelsea's gonna have something. What'd you tell me, Charles? Chelsea's gonna have something to say about the title, right? About the title and top. Four. I just don't like my my continued point with Chelsea is like they have too much talent to just suck every game. Like I just think like one like one game, like your boy, like, Mikhailo's going to get out there and do some fast shit at some point, maybe. Like, Jao, like, going to get out there and do some, like, they scored three goals the other day. Like, I'm just I saying. Like, like, Jow. I, I don't, I like Jao. I don't, I like Jao, man. He's I'm still married to get him. Felix? I like, yeah. Stinks. Okay. Stinks. Yeah. He, I, like I mean, he'd be, good, he'd be good on Arsenal. Um, Okay. He'd be really good on City. Like, he'd yeah, be he really good yeah, on City. If he was a squad player, if he was a squad yeah. player, he'd be fire. If he played the Alvarez role, he'd be ridiculous. Who's better, Foden or Jao? Foden's never cost anybody $140 million. Right. So yeah. <laughs> see, how, see how you pocket watch it again. There you yeah, go. Fo- Foden, but fo- so, okay. He, as the uh, official president of the Charles Shinnett Pocket Watch Club, I'm okay with the Foden one because he actually stinks. Like the Grealish one is like, yo, Grealish actually be out there going crazy. <laughs> I don't care yeah. how much Grealish made because Grealish plays well. Foden stinks. I mean, Foden actually stinks. Grealish is somebody that, like Charles, my respect for him grew watching him live. I'm like, nah, he's like, yeah. He and there, I said he, it, and I yeah, admit it. And we be out there doing some shit. We man. ain't talking you know about Grealish. But like, Foden. Foden, put it like this: Foden in, in, in the same game that Halan broke the Premier League record, City ran a 10 percent sale on their team store because Foden scored 10 goals for the first time in his career. As in there. 21, though, is he yet? Or is he 21 exactly? Well, now I don't give a fuck how old he is. I didn't ask you all that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, how many starts, though? Plenty. He's been starting too much. There we go. Liverpool, Leicester. Liver- at, like, I go to Leicester, and Leicester's on a little rele- relegation battle, but they're, they look they like stink. they may have backed it in. That's on a Monday night, nice Monday night football. Uh, Liverpool, Aston Villa. On, on don't the, do that. No, they call it Monday Night Football. Sky Sports. No, don't, 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 dun, 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 don't do that. I all, did that. Hold Sports, on, the fact, the fact that, no, 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 no. The fact that he got Peacock and the USA, he's talking about Sky Sports fuck feed. Like, like, just extra for no reason, man. Like, why? Like, who, who just watches the BBC version, bro? Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doug, I be follow, I be looking. Fuck. Hey, Jamie <laughs> Carr is my guy now. It never. Yeah. Put, but you know, you know, bit. ML only watches the English domestic matches. Right. <laughs> he let us know that last week. <laughs> Liverpool, Aston Villa, uh, Liverpool, Southampton. Yeah, man, they ain't lo- they ain't dropping points. Nah, Liverpool's gonna be th- Liverpool finished third. Arsenal in a whole lot of trouble next year. <laughs> they had a Why? whole lot of trouble. I wondered. See, I wonder if they're trying to make a last. Now, here's the question, because Fabrizio said that uh, all the terms are done with Jude and Real Madrid. Liverpool don't want you because they want to buy. Hey, three. They... Y'all, I, I need to I need to address some shit real quick. Um, okay. I'm tired of the I'm tired of the Internet trying to put these uh, Camavinga, Chuamani, uh, <laughs> Jude fucking comparisons up up against three people who actually play on my team. Um, your man's a left back. To a Maney, what's the defining game of his career? What's the what, what, he just be out there? Like, stop at Mac, where's the game where he bossed the fucking midfield? I ain't seen not a one. And Jude be out there being on some midfield. He's scoring a World Cup semi. Once again, he scored. 
but I, once again, where's the game where it was like he was the stand? Where's his man of the match? Did I'm up, he, I, I've never seen him get a man of the match. None of this shit. We talk in comparison to people like Frankie DeYoung, who's one of the three best midfielders in the entire world, and Pedro. Like it's not even a, a fair comparison when one of your, your people is a fucking left back. If he was so damn good, he'd be starting over the 39 year old uh, fucking dudes that are running around in the midfield. If, he, if there were any of them were that were that good, yeah, it's, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Watch your fucking mouth. I want Madrid to sign Cancelo so we can figure out the situation with with Kamavinga in his real spot. Not like that's very much in need. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. All right, Charles, I think we got to table that discussion though for next year for sure. So, all right, quickly. Wait, so, so, no, nah, I want to I want to discuss that now. So, Damn. I tried so, to get my boys off. Come on, so, man. Which, which Come on. one of the Let three? Let us get to Wednesday. Let's like, get... if you had to rank the three, like, Frankly. I don't think. I don't think any of them that I don't think any of them that good. That's just my opinion. But Charles, right. like who how would you rank the three? Jude's the best of the three of them. I'm just like, I'm not are we sure Kamaving is that good? Because I my only reason I say that is because I if he was that good, I just think given the fact that they have old guys in the midfield, they would play more in the midfield. Like to me, the fact that they're not playing more in the midfield, even in mid even in the league games, he's not yeah. playing in the midfield. That's the shit that I'm saying. Is like the league is lost. Carlo could be getting him minutes in the midfield. He's still playing left back. That's the stuff that like concerns me about like, oh, they're not even playing. Like, they're, they're not, it'd be different if the, if he was out there like Gabby is, and you know we know Gabby's not the most technical player, but like he's getting minutes, he's learning. He's like Kevin Ming is learning to be a left back right now. And I don't love that. I think it's out of necessity because we do have a log jam at midfield. I'm not saying it's because I mean we're not as young and a self inflicted one though. True, 100%. And so, therefore, that's why Jude is incredibly important. Just, if anything, for the legs purposes. But Luka and but Modric going to sign for one more year. Cruz has already signed his extension. That's a problem to me. You don't you don't find that to be a problem? That they're coming back? Yeah. I, I'm i hoping that they are going to give them the proper goodbyes as Madrid legends, and that's the hope. That's the hope. <laughs> Let them oh, leave that, on their own terms. If you're really going to – I, I I mean, I don't know what the numbers are. I personally don't think they're going to break the transfer record for Jude, but they might. Like, who knows? Um, I saw, what was the number? I saw, like, 150 the other day. Yikes. Yeah, they can. I mean, they're bidding against themselves, so that'd yeah. be crazy to me. Because <laughs> the only other team, the only other two teams, like, pulled out of the Jude race, like, weeks ago. So, like, that would City, be nuts to me. City's pulled out? Huh? City's City pulled, pulled, pulled out. out, too. Yeah, City and Liverpool said they'd rather have two to three players than Jude, which is fair. I would, too. But, like, to bring Modric and Cruz back basically signals that the other three guys are going to play sparingly amongst each other. So you spend $150 million on a guy you don't think is ready for La Liga, which I guess is fair. And then you got the other two. I mean, Wemby's moving to the U.S. Are we sure they're not coming to? Houston got nice homes. <laughs> That's what Valverde. I mean, best case scenario next year is what? Them playing the midfield of what? Valverde, Jude, and, and Modric. But that's really like the, probably the best three they have next year. And the fact that once like your best midfielder is what? 30. He's older than me. So he's what? 37, 36. I think they got to play true mini in the middle. I mean, but he's not catching me. He's good. I like him. He's good. Who? He plays sparingly, but when he plays, like he's a little electric. Yeah. Yeah, true. I mean, he was he was fine. Uh, in fact, and that's where like my bar is on, I mean, on on Tuesday. Not to bring it up, but they also cooked Jude in the World Cup. Had Jude in hell. Yeah, France. They they gave him a lot of work. Pause. Um, Had Jude in hell for ninety minutes. So did Weston. Don't get me wrong, but you know that's neither think, here nor there. I think Jude needs some better coaching, but I think he's a proper replacement. Like, there's times Jude ain't going to play all the time. Oh, we like, know. <laughs> we know. And he could be on the pitch and he won't he'd be play on the, the pitch. He's still, yeah, he's yeah, still out there. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, he, wow. He could be out there for 90 minutes and he won't be playing. I like how Barcelona's set up for the future. We've talked about this, and actually, it'll be interesting to see their summer as well. Because Il- Ilke is thinking about some different shit, too, by the way. They say mm-hmm. he will not be going to Barcelona. That's not true. Mm-hmm. That's okie doke. We're going to see. We're going to see. Okay. That's All right, true. ML, I got a question for you then, because we heard yeah. Charles rank him. Frank, Pedri, Gavi, Frankie, Chuameni, Kamavinga, Jude. And there's only one correct answer here. And Jude is far down this list. Frankie, <laughs> Frankie's one. That's, I'll live with that disrespectful, but I'll live with that. Pedri's two. I can, okay. These are the true rankings. And this is where it gets iffy. There's only one he's, correct he's answer. He's done more. He's done more. 
mean, he's done more. <laughs> Say it because he's done more. <laughs> World Cup and everything. <laughs> he scored, There's only he one correct answer. In the World Cup too, I think two and is better than Gavi. Oh, but, give me a break. <laughs> that's me. But also, but oh no, it, it, Gavi, two and many, dude. This is this is another Devin Booker and fucking um, what you call it? Nah, 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 Anthony nah. Edwards. Yeah. Nah, the reason why I like two many. The reason why I like two many. Um, do you like two and many more than Jude too? No. Yes, I do like Chu many more than Jude. Yes, now he's the oldest though, too, isn't he? I do. Chew How many? old is he? Twenty three, twenty two. I mean, he's not uh, like Frankie's obviously the oldest. I'm talking about out of those, yeah. the younger yeah, ones. The next yeah, the next group. You but would do Chu many Gavi Jude. Excuse me. Would you do Chu many Gavi Jude or Chu many Jude Gavi? No, Gavi Jude. It's because I've seen Gavi for me in La Liga. This is I'm being tr- incredibly truthful here. I've seen Gavi be the best. I've seen Gavi be one of the top two players. And I know you guys, I rate the El Clasicos. Gabby's a beast, man. Well, and so, so do I. I just don't rate, I just don't rate all 30. <laughs> He's all. A, I'm not saying I don't rate them. It's just when he played 30 times, only one or two of them. You need mental beasts, bro. But this, this was what's going to make it fun, though. Like, Jude helps yeah. the conversation for, like, those midfields need to get back to, like, Chabi like <laughs> Alonzo versus, you know, yeah. Iniesta. Like, Charles, like, tell him about the past. Like, that's how... That's what shit was cracking. Like, yeah, for sure. For sure. Now, I, but I got to give Gabby the edge over the Madrid guys just because he plays hard consistently. And those three guys have an effort issue. I, I, I my, think too many has the most question. talent. I, I think out of the whole group, I think he has the most talent. That doesn't necessarily mean he, like, winds up playing the best, though, unfortunately. We got to see yeah. him in the Champions League, though, bro. You got to make the you got to make the limit. But, hey, man. I, on, on Tuesday, though, like, when too many went out there, he was the best player on the pitch. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen Gabby. He went now. crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying, Charles? He went crazy on Tuesday. And anyway. I've seen him in Europa. And he lost at Old Trafford, bro. Yeah, but you saw him and you saw him in the World Cup. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you can be trying to like, pick and choose when you saw him. I Which saw Saka out there. Morocco? Like, Did Pedri play in that Europa game? I'm talking about, I'm talking about not Pedri. Pedri's no. the piece. I'm talking about Gabby. No. no. Yeah, but Ga- if, if you got a 16-year-old there out there by himself, what's he supposed to do? I mean, he, he's not going Pedri and Gabby didn't play in the second leg at Old Trafford. Why are you talking shit? And Frankie <laughs> didn't either. I thought he did. No, remember he got the card and he had first. He, he got a he got card. And he had to sit in the second leg. Y'all just got like a lot. I heard I heard Charles say he got the car, and I thought bro got his license before the game, and said so y'all just not sure. <laughs> uh, he did. He did just get it though. That's funny. He did hey. his license like a month ago. Give me a prediction. You think City take take care of business? I know you you don't want to go and bet it, but. Madrid did give you cause to pause, right? Um, but I still think City. I still think City wins. Dion, City. I think City wins because I think they uh, run the risk of dropping points on Saturday. Charles, sticking with it. You saw a little something. You saw a little something. I think if you like, I said I really think it comes because I, you know, Madrid. The difference is we know Madrid's pretty much going to run out the same eleven. Mm-hmm. If he puts Mares out there or puts Alvarez out there, I think that's just going to add a different dynamic to the game. Like that was the the thing that I don't like about City when I watched them play the other day is it's like if KDB or what like that's the thing about Grealish playing midfield. I never feel like he's actually threatening to score a goal, and I feel like Mares gives him another person in that in that final third that's actually can in Bernardo the same way. They're not really like, like threats to go out there and create their own goal or break somebody down one on one and go past somebody like Alvarez. And Mares are guys that are going to like make runs, going to like try to dribble at people and make some things happen. So I think if they get them uh, out there and like start, like I guess to start Mares at, at right wing, um, I'm going to go. I go three two. It'll still be a little tense, but uh, three two city on aggregate. No, no, no. They're going to so it'll be what four three. Damn, that'll be the same. Okay, what it was about last year. I'm not going to flip flop. I'm going to say the city still wins. Um, I still need a Ben's goal. That'd be nice. Love to see Ben score. I think the games are going to be more open after this depends after that first goal. I actually think Real Madrid just wanted to see things out because City had kind of caught a little stride. Uh, but if City opens up at all, they got Madrid has a chance. But, but Madrid never really three like, two aggregate three two aggregate. Madrid never really did shit though. Like the only yeah. time Madrid looked dangerous was City was exhausted the final twenty minutes and just packed the box. I think that's how you beat them, though. And I texted X and I said, them? How you beat City? Yeah, no, no, just you have to just pick 
you have to capitalize on the spots that you have, and they're not going to be a ton, but you can't give them any. That's the problem like in the prim because y'all are right. Like, yo, the talent is, yo, it's the English, it's the English bounce. Yo, these teams aren't really that good. And the problem is, is the reason why they're not that good is because they're prone to make more mistakes. You cannot make mistakes against it against City. And they just take advantage of them all the time. And you know what? That's why y'all always have success against them on an annual basis in terms of topping them. Because y- y'all, y'all will just protect yourselves first. And then like, okay, well, we got 10. Mm-hmm. No, it's because they don't play their starting eleven against us. I've seen that's why they bench three guys. three guys. Yeah, it'd be a lot of off, off <laughs> third kit. It'd be a lot of third kits in them games. Yes, it's, it's a lot. Of, it's see, a lot of Rico Lewis. A lot of third kits in them highlights. <laughs> you see a lot of eighty two. <laughs> I see it. The black ones do be. Like, yo, who is that? <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I mean, at the same time, too, like City didn't sub the entire game. So we're going to talk about them being tired the last. 90 minutes they played the they played the same 11 the, the entire game so like i said like i i, I thought that they had introduced uh Mares at the 60th minute i thought he would have made a difference for him he's just lively um in a game like that against like dudes like that especially when like i said Vinicius isn't tracking back you got to be attacking on that wing i love that appreciate that that was a good show uh x your homework for this week I need you to come. We're going to make sure the camera is going to be on you. Camera is uh, going to be on you. Throwing practice. Nah. Kyrie Irving? I need you, to make, rounders. I need you to make a case for Marty, Martin Odegaard as the uh, best midfielder uh, next to De Bruyne in, uh, in the – All right, play. I'm out.